King George Sound, Western Australia. King George Sound is the name of a sound on the south coast of Western Australia. Originally named King George III's Sound, it was referred to as King George's Sound from 1805 Sydney Gazette 13 10 1805. The name King George Sound gradually came into use from about 1934, prompted by new Admiralty charts supporting the intention to eliminate the possessive S from geographical names. The sound covers an area of 110 square kilometers 42 sq and varies in depth from 10 m 33 ft to 35 m 115 ft and is the site of the city of Albany. The sound is bordered by the mainland to the north, by Vancouver Peninsula on the west, and by Bald Head and Flinders Peninsula to the south. Although the sound is open water to the east, the waters are partially protected by Brakesea Island and Michaelmas Island. There are two harbors located within the Sound, Princess Royal Harbor to the west and Oyster Harbor to the north. Each receives excellent protection from winds and heavy seas. Princess Royal Harbor was Western Australia's only deep water port for around 70 years until the Fremantle Inner Harbor was opened in 1897. History the first reported visit to King George Sound by a European was in 1791 by the English explorer Captain George Vancouver. Vancouver named it King George III's Sound after the reigning monarch. The next Europeans to visit the Sound were Captain Dennis of the Kingston and Captain Dixon of the Ellagood. Kingston and Ellagood were whalers and while there caught three whales. Dixon left an inscribed piece of copper plate behind. Matthew Flinders anchored in the Sound from 8 December 1801 to 5 January 1802 and explored the area. While he was there, his men found the copper plate Dixon had left. During this time, Robert Brown, ship's botanist, and Peter Good, ship's gardener, collected samples of over 500 plant species. Nicholas Bodden arrived in the Sound in February 1803 aboard Le Geographe to rendezvous with Louis de Freycinet aboard the Casuarina before doing further exploration of the Western Australian coastline. During the course of their stay, the ship's naturalist Francois Perron collected 1060 new species of shellfish and a large number of starfish from the Sound. Philip Parker King visited the Sound in 1818 aboard the cutter HMS Mermaid while en route to conduct a nautical survey of the Northwest Cape, and Frenchman Dumont d'Urville visited it in 1826 aboard the Astrolabe. On 25 December 1826, the New South Wales colonial government Brig Amity, under the command of Major Edmund Lockyer, arrived at King George Sound to establish a possessory military settlement. Lockyer named his settlement Frederick Town after George III, second son, Prince Frederick, Duke of York and Albany, but this name never gained wide acceptance. Instead, the settlement and surrounding locality were usually referred to as King George's Sound. In 1832, Governor of Western Australia Captain later Admiral James Stirling declared the settlement a town and renamed it Albany, but the broader locality continued to be referred to as King George's Sound for many years. In 1834, Robert Dale published in London a panorama print of the view from Mount Clarence accompanied by a pamphlet describing the sound and the geography, geology, flora, fauna, and native inhabitants of the immediate region. On 8 March 1836, HMS Beagle visited King George Sound and anchored there for eight days. On board was the young naturalist Charles Darwin, who collected specimens on shore. Fiegel was on the homeward leg of her celebrated circumnavigation of the world, having already stopped off at Sydney. Until the construction of Fremantle Harbour in 1897, King George Sound contained the only deep water port in Western Australia, and so was the favoured location for delivery of mail and supplies from abroad to Western Australia. These were then transported to Perth and Fremantle by road or coastal shipping until the early 1890s, when the completion of the Great Southern Railway provided a quicker service. Albany Port is located on the north shore of Princess Royal Harbour adjacent to the city of Albany. The port was first established in 1826 and has been expanded regularly since.
The port now has five berths able to cater to Panamax-class vessels. The port typically caters for loading of about 120 vessels per annum. In 1914, King George Sound was the last Australian anchorage for the fleet taking the first Australian and New Zealand soldiers later to become known as Anzacs to Egypt. A memorial to the Anzacs of the Desert Mounted Corps has been established on top of Mount Clarence. Albany was where the first commemorative dawn service was held on Anzac Day, 25 April 1923. The contribution of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, President of Turkey from 1923 until 1938, is recognized by naming the entrance into Princess Royal Harbor as Ataturk Entrance. There is evidence that shore-based bay whaling was carried out in Barker Bay by James Daniels as early as 1849. Whaling ships from Hobart also visited the area in the second half of the 19th century. The Chain Beach Whaling Company began operating out of Frenchman Bay, located within the Sound, in 1952 with a small quota of 50 humpback whales that was eventually increased to 175. At the peak of the whaling activity in the Sound, the company was taking between 900 and 1100 sperm and humpback whales in a year. Humpback whaling was banned in 1963, which in turn decreased the viability of the operation. In 1978, the Chains Beach Whaling Company closed down after increasing environmental lobby group pressure. It was Australia's last coastal whaling company. Installation of a shark barrier was commenced and completed in March 2016 at Middleton Beach at the northwestern end of the Sound. Flora Dense seagrass beds still exist in King George Sound, although they have been adversely affected by increased nutrient levels and industry in the area. Some of the seagrasses present in the Sound include Posidonia australis, Posidonia robertsoni, Posidonia kirkmanii, Posidonia sinuosa, Posidonia denhartogii, Posidonia austenfeldii, Amphibolis antarctica, Amphibolis griffithii, Halophila australis, Halophila ovalis, Rupia megacarpa, and Hep. The fringing vegetation around the Sound includes both the salt marshes of Oyster Harbor and Princess Royal Harbor, and the sandy beach vegetation. Salt marshes contain a variety of species, including samphire, sea blight, astartia, wattle, greenbush, shore rush, twig rush, and saltwater paper bark. Freshwater species also occur in areas where substantial freshwater seepage occurs. Sandy beach areas contain a mix of shrubs and sedges such as the gray-white cushion bush, coast sword sedge, knotted club rush, sea rocket, pig face and false caper. Fauna The sound comprises a wide variety of habitats that supports an abundance of marine life. Many species of corals are present including Turbinaria frondens, Turbinaria mesenterina, and Turbinaria renformis, which cover an extensive area. Other coral species that can be found include Scalimia australis, Plesiostria versipora, Cosinaria mcneely, and Cosinaria marshi. A large wild mussel population was known to exist in the Sound, and now commercial mussel farms operate within the area that grow and harvest blue mussels. It is estimated that 203 species of fish inhabit the Oyster Harbor, Princess Royal Harbor, and King George Sound, with Australian pilchards, Sardineps sagex neopilchardus, making up 97% of the total fish catch. Other species that are commonly found include Australian herring, leather jackets, cobbler, King George whiting, hailer, Australian anchovy, garfish, sand trevally, tarwine, flathead, tuna, snapper, Australian salmon, yellowtail scad, Seals are known to inhabit the sound in various locations along the coast and on the islands. The species that are sighted most often are the Australian sea lion and the New Zealand fur seal. Species that have been sighted, but are considered to be occasional visitors, include the subantarctic fur seal and the leopard seal. Dolphins are also found in the area and are occasionally caught and drowned in fishing nets or stranded. The common dolphin Delphinus delphis and the bottlenose dolphin Terceops truncates have both been recorded in the area. 
Southern right whales and humpback whales frequent the area between July and October when they congregate to mate and calve in the protected waters of the sound. Other whales that have been spotted in the area include mink whales, blue whales, short-finned pilot whales, false killer whales, and killer whales. Sperm whales were known to visit the sound during the whaling era, but none have been sighted recently, although a pod was detected further out in the Southern Ocean in 2002. The sound becomes a perfect habitat for migratory wading birds during the summer, when an estimated 2,000 minutes, 3,000 birds flock to the area to feed in the shallow mudflats of the harbors. Some of the species that can be found during the summer months include the red neck stint and the red knot, as well as sand pippers, gray plovers, red capped plovers, lesser sand plovers, gray tailed tattlers, Eurasian wimbrels, common green shanks, yellow billed spoonbill, white faced heron, and stilts. Other birds that are commonly seen around the sound include cormorants, pied oyster catchers, sooty oyster catchers, Pacific gulls. Caspian terns, pelicans, ospreys, and white bellied sea eagles. Geology, geology, oceanography, the tidal range in King George Sound, including Princess Royal Harbor and Oyster Harbor, is 0 0.4 meters 1 ft with spring tidal range of 1.1 meters 4 ft. Tidal levels can remain static for periods of time. Semi diurnal tides are frequent and diurnal tides are occasional. The temperature of the water in the sound is slightly different from that of the open sea. The salinity level within the sound remains relatively constant, ranging between 34.8 and 35.5 percent zero, the lower levels occurring during heavy winter rain events when large volumes of fresh water enter the sound from the King and Calgan rivers. The Liuin current exerts some influence in the sound as it flows eastwards along the continental shelf in the main part of the sound. Shipwrecks, s shipwrecks. Many wrecks exist within King George Sound. The most recent and best known is the 133 meters 436 FT guided missile destroyer HMAS Perth, which was scuttled in 2001 in 35 meters 115 FT of water off Seal Island to be used as a dive site. The former whale chaser chains was sold for scrap in 1961 and was subsequently sunk between Michaelmas Island and the northern shoreline of the Sound. Another chaser in the fleet, Chains Roman II, was blown ashore on Jeek Point near Quarnup in Princess Royal Harbor in 1990 and is still there, approximately 290 meters 951 ft offshore. The Lady Littleton sank in the Emu Point Channel when repairs were attempted in 1867. A Hobart wooden bark, the Fanny Nicholson was being used as a whaling vessel when it ran ashore during a gale in 1872. The remains can still be seen in shallow water in Frenchman Bay. Another Tasmanian whaling bark, the Runimed, met a similar fate when it ran aground during a storm in 1881. Two wrecks within the Sound are protected under the Federal Historic Shipwrecks Act 1976. These are the wooden bark Athena that sank in 1908 and the wooden boat Elvi that sank in 1923. In 1868, Northumberland, a wooden bark laden with 2,000 tons of coal, grounded on a reef off Bald Head near the entrance to King George Sound. The ship was freed and sailed into the Sound with a broken rudder. The crew eventually abandoned ship and took to the lifeboats. Northumberland foundered and sank between Cape Vancouver and Breaksea Island. Gallery